Okay, so now that we have this get my markers method, now we're gonna go ahead and use it in main activity and make sure it works. So right here we can just call data dot get my markers. And the way we'll do this, since it's gonna be returning a list, we'll just call list and we'll give it a name, my marker or give it a type and um, a variable and we'll add a for loop and um, we'll get the length of this oh shoot and well I guess I should say the size and then we're just going to iterate through this list of my marker objects and add them to the map. So we're going to call Google dot add marker new mark marker options and set title. Oh, it's just title. And uh, the title is going to be uh, marker or m dot at or is it get let me check oh it's get okay so get I and then so we're at that element right now so so in the list get this element dot title get title of that element next one will be um, snippet oh oh yeah get and then get snippet and then the last one is dot position now this is where it's a little bit tricky because we have to have a latitude 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 longitude longitude object so in here let's just create a latitude longitude object and we'll say um, and then what we'll also have to do is get a M at the get this right here well we'll have to create a string and we'll call this uh, s latitude or at s latitude longitude standing for string array <laughs> forgot oops I forgot my array and the way this can work is the zeroth out zero zeroth position is just going to be latitude and the first is going to be longitude so we'll just call a split function uh, split method on that um, string so it's going to be um, hmm uh, m dot get and then position dot split and right there at the uh, space okay and then we just call um, s lat ling and um, zero and s and one but still not that easy because these are just strings it called for a double so we have to call double you know, you double dot value o oh, shoot dot value of uh, 
and I'm just going to copy that for the next one and there we go now we can finally use this to paste in there and let's test it out make sure it works And there it is. So it should be Twitter and then Twitter headquarters. Perfect. So it works. Oh, let me move that down so you can see it. There we go. All right. I'll see you guys later. And we'll do the next one, the next tutorial.